Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tawadha. In this video session, I am going to show you how to solve a problem on projection of plane surfaces and the example problem is like this. An equilateral triangular lamina of 25 mm side lies with one of its edges on HP such that the surface of the lamina is inclined to HP at 60 degree. The edge on which it rests is inclined to VP at 60 degree. Draw the projections. Now one can understand that a triangular lamina of 25 mm size should be constructed and its edge is resting on HP and the surface of the lamina is inclined to HP at 60 degree. Hence the lamina must be parallel to HP and on HP and it should be inclined to HP at 60 degree first and the resting edge is inclined to VP at 60 degree. Now according to the given condition let us solve the problem for which let us go to a command called as line with 0.13 mm thickness let us draw a horizontal line which is going to be an xy line after creating an xy line once again using the same line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter one can construct the side resting equilateral triangle for which enter the length as 25 then the angle as minus 90 again the length as 25 in the ribbon bar the length as 25 and then move the cursor approximately at the center now one can see the tracing points towards the right side then press the left click of the mouse and then again press the left click of the mouse to the end point over here and now one can see that the equilateral triangle has been created this is also 25 and this is also 25 and this is also 25 and if anyone is having a doubt using a command called as angle between one can just verify that whether it is an equilateral triangle or not now one can see that it's an equilateral triangle now once the equilateral triangle is fullest then make use of a smart dimension command then show that the distance between these two lines are 25 mm now one can show a dimension to one side it is more than sufficient then again make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 one has to draw the projectors of the corners till it touches the xy line now after touching it to the xy line we should stop it there again using a line command with 0.5 mm thickness we should complete its front view we should complete its front view like this once the front view is completed then using a text command so let us give the namings here now this is an xy line and then vp as well as hp because we are solving the problems in the first quadrant and then this corner should be named as A and this corner should be named as B and this corner should be named as C and after which accordingly an observer can see B as well as A on this location so henceforth this points are going to be marked as B dash and the A dash cannot be seen by the observer so it is kept inside the bracket and this is going to be the C dash now this is how one can complete the projections of the both top and front views as per the given conditions and after which the lamina is inclined to HP at 60 degree now to which we one can select the front view in such a way that the both the front view of a lamina as well as the text should be selected then we have a command called as move now make use of move command move the lamina with respect to b dash that is selecting the b dash a dash in such a way that it should be selected by the end point then make sure that the copy of move should be on and then it should be repositioned on the xy line at any distance then it should be properly positioned on an xy line using a point on element command and then make use of a command called as rotate make sure that i don't want a copy of rotate and b dash should be on the xy line so click on the b dash first then c dash then the c dash has to be rotated at an angle of 60 degree because the angle theta is given as 60 degree now after giving the rotation it will as 
where the angle should be positioned whether it is in the clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction let us position it on the anti clockwise direction now one can see the front view has been relocated at an angle of 60 degree then make use of an angle between command the angle between this front view and an xy line is measuring 60 degree after which one can draw the projectors to get the top view now make use of a line command starting with this corner c dash the right extreme corner now just move the cursor towards this corner c now it is going to trace the position of exact c connect c to c now the projectors of c are being completed in the same fashion the next right extreme corner will be b dash a dash selected b dash now b dash projector is going to be up to here join b dash to b and similarly along with b we have a let us connect back the a now by thus using a text command one has to mark this point as a and this point as b and this point as c now make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter next start with a connect it to b and then to c and then back to a now one can see that the projection in the top view has been completed as per the given angle theta then the edge on which it rests to vp is inclined at 60 degree draw its projections now the resting edge on hp is b dash a dash now one can see that earlier b dash a dash and c dash all the three corners were on xy line no only b dash a dash is on xy line that is on hp and c dash is above hp in that way one can decide that ab is a resting corner now make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 millimeter one can draw a inclined line whose angle is 60 degree as per the given condition now let us make the angle as 60 degree because angle phi is given as 60 degree now the line ab is perpendicular to xy line should have an angle of 60 degree now while doing it so one has to verify that whether the length of ab is getting reduced or not now the length of ab in stage 1 is measuring 25 millimeter and the length of ab in second stage is also measuring 25 that means in both the stages the length of the side is same henceforth this line length we call it as a true length so to, and this angle is called as true angle so one can construct this line at the true angle then select the top view in such a way that it should select all the text as well as the three lines then make use of move command move with respect to point a and that a has to be repositioned properly anywhere on this line with the help of point on element command and then make use of a command called as rotate select a as fixed because a should be on the 60 degree line then b should appear on the 60 degree line so select b as a rotating point and locate that point to b exactly on the 60 degree line now once it is done make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 mm then draw the projector starting from the right extreme corner the right extreme corner will become c connect c to c dash to the front view using the alignment indicators then now you can see this is the position of c and b is going to be projected till the x y line and in the same fashion a will be projected till the x y line then make use of the line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter now now one can join the points now 0.5 millimeter and then this is going to be a dash and this is going to be the b dash and this is going to be the c dash and this is going to be the a dash then i make use of a text command name the corners to avoid any confusion a dash then this is going to be the b dash and this is going to be the c dash now by thus one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects but never forget to write a 
statement note all dimensions are in mm by this one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects and please do share this video to all the first year engineering students so that anyone can get a help of this to solve the problems and also please subscribe to my channel and distribute this videos to all your friends thank you guys